Good morning, could I have your attention for the morning announcements? I invite everyone to please stand for prayer. And as we pray, let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God and that we love our dear neighbor without distinction as we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Loving God, when I have food, help me to remember the hungry. When I have work, help me to remember the jobless. When I have a home, help me to remember those who have no home at all. When I am without pain, help me to remember those who suffer. When I am well, help me to remember those who are sick. And in my remembering, help me to destroy my complacency, bestir my compassion, and be concerned enough to help by word and deed, those who cry out for what we take for granted. And we pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so the last day before Thanksgiving break. In the bulletin, just one quick announcement about speech auditions. So if that's interesting to you, you can check the bulletin for more information. Also, the bell schedule for today is printed. It's the same bell schedule as yesterday. Um, obviously, there's no interfaith prayer service today. We celebrated that yesterday. So the bulletin, um, pretty light. I do want to make a couple comments so before we um, head off to, to Thanksgiving break. Keep in mind, students, that this guideline related to social gatherings pertains to you. This is having a direct impact on you, and I really want to make sure you understand what it means. So it means that you can't go to each other's houses and hang out. Um, you're not supposed to gather with more than just the people that live in your household. So the idea that you go over and hang out with your friends, you know, four or five, six friends or whatever it is, you can't do that. I know that's a huge deal. I, I really do, believe me. Um, but the idea is that that's a key component in making sure that the spread of the virus doesn't continue at the rate that it has been going. So your help is really important. It really does matter. Your behavior matters. We faculty and staff are following those same guidelines. My Thanksgiving is going to be different. It's just me and my spouse. He and I are just going to have... Uh, a little turkey and whatever, but um, I just want to make sure you understand how important it is that we follow those guidelines. And then kind of get your head around this idea too, when you come back to school on Monday, you want to make sure that when you're here, you're not hanging out in the hallways in, in small groups that are less than six feet apart. So I know in the morning, um, I think we can do a little better job and we'll, we'll help you with this. This is not just you. We'll help you with this, but to remind ourselves that in the morning before school, you, you can't just hang out in the hallway sitting next to your buddy. You want to make sure that we're keeping moving. We're six feet apart. You can go to the Great Hall. You can go to the library, the atrium, or in your, your classroom as soon as your teacher arrives. And again, we'll talk more about, about that on Monday. But just kind of get your head around this idea that um, these mitigation strategies are super important. It does matter. Your help is is needed. It just it really is. And all of us are um, following these same guidelines. So with that, I will sign off. You guys have a great Thanksgiving. I'll continue to pray for um, all of our students every single day. We pray for you guys and wish you the very best this uh, nice break that you have a chance to catch up on sleep, maybe catch up on some work if you need to. Just relax, take a break, and enjoy the time um, in the quiet. All right, take care. We'll see you on Monday.